Here with Jim Nats. Uh, Jim, you've been involved in golf and broadcast golf for a long time. Uh, this year, for the first year at the Oli golf at the Olympics, what do you think the the, the impact is going to be on the game? Well, you know they had it in the Olympics like a hundred years ago when the last Can gold medal Can went Canada. to Canada. Yeah, yes, right. so you see, I know, I know. <laughs> that's right. Uh, I think it's going to be great for the game. I really do. I mean, what a an exposure it's going to be uh, as we try to spread the game and the goodness of the game around the world. There's no bigger vehicle than the Olympics. And you've been, you've seen all kinds of players over the years. I'm not going to say you're you're old, but you've been around. Yeah, I've been you've around. seen. Yeah. What do you see the progression in players in, in the game, um, as far as uh, on the professional side? Well, it's a fantastic time for the sport. I mean, people were wondering, you know, after Tiger, you know, had lost his ability to be world number one, you know, what what was the game going to look like? Well, we found out in 2015 when we were on a fabulous ride ahead. And as much as people want to try to always define it and say it's going to be this guy or it's going to be these three guys, it's way bigger and grander than that. We've got great young talent from all over the world. And, um, you know, it, it, as good as, uh, as, as Jordan and Jason and Rory were last year, you got guys like Justin Thomas and Ricky Fowler right on their heels. You know, you got young upstart Canadians who are, are making an impact on the game. I mean, it's just thrilling. It's all over the globe. The game is spreading out its tentacles to all over the, the, the earth. And, it, you know, the game's in a really good place. It's in a really good place. Right. Thank you, and Thank good you. luck on the broadcast. I'll see year. you at the uh, RBC Canadian Open. We'll be there. Okay, thanks. thanks.